from the garden, overcoming addiction through the lessons of Genesis chapter 2. Dear friends, I stand before you today to talk about the power of Genesis chapter 2 and how it can help us overcome the struggles of addiction. In the Garden of Eden, God created man and woman to live in perfect harmony with him and with all of creation. However, when man and woman gave into temptation and sinned, they found themselves separated from God and from the peace and joy that they once knew. This story is a powerful reminder for us as we face the struggles of addiction. Just as sin separated man and woman from God and from the peace and joy they once knew, addiction too can separate us from God and from the peace and joy that come from living a life free from its grip. But just as God provided a way for man and woman to be reconciled to him through his son, Jesus Christ, he also provides a way for us to overcome addiction through the power of his love and his spirit. And just as God put man in the garden to care for it and to enjoy its beauty, we too can find joy and fulfillment in the simple things of life, in the relationships and activities that bring us true happiness, as we work to overcome our struggles with addiction. But we cannot do this alone. Just as God said, it is not good for man to be alone, we must turn to him for strength and guidance as we work to overcome our addiction. And just as he put man in the garden with other creatures, we must surround ourselves with a support system, a community of people who will lift us up and encourage us on our journey to freedom from addiction. So, my friends, I urge you to turn to Genesis chapter 2 for wisdom and guidance as you work to overcome your struggles with addiction. Remember, in the garden, God created man and woman to live in perfect harmony with him and with all of creation, and through his love and his spirit, you too can find peace and joy as you overcome addiction and live a life free from its grip. God bless you.